My name is uh, Steve Barrett. I'm the Director of Public Works here in Brattleboro. And what I'd like to do is kind of give people an update of where the Department of Public Works is at uh, after this big storm that we've had. It's been over 30 days since the storm ravaged the, the west end of town. We, uh, we lost several bridges on Cook Road. We lost a bridge in Stark Road and also on William Street. So we had some very large damage, uh, damage to buildings and people's personal property. And my job has been to, with my crews, has been to protect the water supply um, and make sure the wastewater system's working properly and to make sure that our roads and bridges are safe for the public. And we've, uh, right currently, right now, we're working with FEMA um, to look at all the projects that we did have uh, during the, the storm, when I say projects, actually damages that we had. And it started in the downtown area, which most people are familiar with, where the uh, Flat Street and Frost Place and Frost Street, Elm Street, um, were basically submerged in water. And with that, there was quite a bit of damage and also debris um, from mud and other uh, debris that came down the whetstone itself. There was a lot of trees that were down. so. In the last 30 days or so, we have cleaned up um, the downtown area, all the mud um, and a lot of the debris. We've taken some trees um, that were um, had fallen down and were affecting uh, public roads or properties out of the brook. Um, we have a new uh, temporary bridge on Cook Road, so the families there can get to their homes. They were isolated for uh, probably a couple weeks. And right now, we're also building a temporary slash permanent bridge on Stark Road. And we're trying to get these projects completed in anticipation of the winter months. The, the time is pretty, uh, it's coming pretty quick when we're going to be having snow. And hopefully we don't have um, a lot of snow. If we look at these rainfalls, if it was snow, we'd be pretty buried. So with that, uh, some of the other problems that we did suffer uh, during the storm was we did have a, a broken sewage line and the line takes all of West Brattleboro and it broke in several places. There was a sewer trussle that goes over the Whetstone Brook and that resulted in a discharge of raw sewage into the Whetstone. Um, but our crews did a really fantastic job. They had the uh, pipe repaired and back in service within 48 hours which is quite a feat. And so now we're uh, going back to some of these temporary repairs and we're going to look at what we're going to do for permanent repairs. So a lot of the work that has been done um, is temporary and other parts of it will be a more permanent. For instance, the Cook Road, going back to that, that was a uh, temporary bridge and at some point we'll, we'll be looking into the future to build a more permanent bridge. And with the uh, wastewater treatment plant, uh, that things worked out pretty well down there. We, uh, if people recall, they lowered the water in the Connecticut River as part of the uh, Vernon Dam project and we identified that our outfall pipe was cracked. So that will be another project that we'll need to look at to uh, make a repair. And also a lot of our roads up on Ames Hill, Ames Hill was used as a major connector road to our, our good friends in Marlboro and Wilmington and during the storm our crews uh, rebuilt Ames Hill in Brattleboro and also in Marlboro Road so that uh, supplies could get to Wilmington and, and Marlboro. That was the main route that the National Guard used. It was also, we sent tractor trailers um, of food over Ames Hill, which is a dirt road by the way, um, but the, the crews did a fantastic job in getting that road prepared and ready um, so that our good friends again from Marlboro and Wilmington could get the supplies that they needed in their community. So overall, uh, you know, I, I think we're in pretty good shape. We're going to assess all the damages. Today we have a meeting with uh, FEMA to assess all the damages. Um, I'd hate to put a number on that right now. There's, uh, there's two separate sets of funding. Um, one set of funding is uh, federal aid roads, and that covers just a couple streets, but major streets, William Street and also Flat Street and Elm Street, and it's a separate funding source that the town could get reimbursement and that's funded at 100 percent so we're, we're quite encouraged by that and the other is the FEMA which is traditionally 75 percent um, is what they would refund the town 
and also the state um, potentially can kick in another percentage, anywhere from uh, you know 12 percent, 10 percent. So you know we're we're putting all this uh, together to determine the cost, and and there will be some costs to the town that are above and beyond what our normal budget is, and we'll have to um, come up with a method to. Uh, utilize some of our existing fund and possibly delay some projects that we anticipated doing um, because of it because of the financial burden as far as getting ready for winter um, today we're paving Cedar Street which I know has been it was actually put off because of the storm we've had a lot of feedback from the public where the Cedar Street was actually a dirt road for some time and it was quite a challenge for people but that road will be paved today and that's one of our last projects as far as preparing for winter, as far as uh, paving projects excel. And any other projects, we did have a project up on uh, Ames Hill that will delay till the spring because we just don't have time to do it. And our maintenance crew right now is getting our, all our plows prepared and our sanders because um, this is the time of year when we, we get all the snow fighting equipment ready. And also we've uh, ordered our sand that will be coming in and um, we have our contracts for our salt and other supplies that we use during the winter. So the next 30 days we'll be uh, kind of getting ready for winter and, and that's really the update today from Department of Public Works.